Hello, this is another tutorial on templates, using Google templates to speed up your work. Once you've made the perfect document, don't waste time recreating it the next time you need something similar. Use a template instead. A template will allow you to have workflow improvements, it will create efficiencies, and you have the option of using ones that are already created and loaded in Google for you, or you can create your own, upload them to Google, keep them to yourself, or you can share them with anyone in Baker's organization, or you can make them public. So let's get started. So I'm in my Google Drive account here, we can see. I'm going to go up to the New button and click on that. And you'll see you have your usual choices here. We're going to go down to More, and that opens up another drop-down window, and you'll see there's something called From Template. So if you click on that, it's going to load the Google Docs Template Gallery. Now, if you've used some templates before, you've created some templates, you have some other categories here, if there's something that you've used, but we're going to go to the public templates just so you can see what's available. They have a number of sorting categories for you. If you create your own and you'd like it to be available public, if you go over here to the right, you'll see that there's a link to submit a template. You can search by the area of hottest, so most users or the highest rating. You could narrow it down by types. So these are types of Google Docs. It's the documents, which are your Word documents, the spreadsheets, which is um, the, the, the kind of the Excel version that once it gets in, uh, um, into Docs, it's the sheets, the presentations, which are PowerPoints that once they get into Docs uh, become the slides, and then you have Google Forms, and then Google Drawing. Or you can narrow down by category. So, um, Let's say I was picking out something in a business category. And uh, I was going to do some type of a presentation. And so I could scroll down to see, um, maybe I was going to do some expense report, meeting agenda. There's another presentation, project proposal. There's resumes, travel vouchers, invoices. Lots of different things that you might be interested in using. Let's just grab this presentation one here. So I can use this template and modify it and do what I need to kind of make it my own, personalize it. But maybe I want to just kind of take a peek at it. So I'm going to hit preview first. And then the slide will pop open. And then I can see, you know, what multiple slides will look like. I can play it, all that kind of thing. So here's an example of how you would go in and use something. Just going back and forth showing you there's the second slide and the continuing slides would look like that and then you would add some text to it. So this is a example of grabbing something from the template. I can decide to use this template if this is what I want. Once I'm done, I create my own version of that template. And again, I can get back to browsing the templates again by type, there's presentations, most users, highest ratings. And again, I have the ability to um, create them and keep them. I can keep them for myself. If I don't want them in the public template area, there's the Baker College template area. I can store them for my institution. Uh, templates that I've used before would pop up here, and then templates that I've created would pop up in this spot. So that is how you grab a template that has already been created and either use it as is or modify it and make it your own. So let's talk about creating something, adding a template here from an item that you've already created outside of Google Drive. So let's go ahead and put our template together. First, we want to take and we want to upload a document. Now, when you're using the Google uh, template gallery, you do need to take whatever your original document is and upload it into your Google Drive because when you go to submit a template, that's where it's going to grab from. So I'm going to click on Submit a Template, choose from Google Docs. 
So I'm going to go into my Google Docs account and I'm going to find something that I'm going to want to use. And let's grab this and put it in here. And so here's something that I've worked on already. Uh, I can put in a script description here. I can select a category. Maybe it's going to be calendars and schedules, English, and that looks like about it. I'm going to go ahead and hit Submit Template. Oops, did I not do something? Let's try that again. Uh, documents, and here's my template, select. Calendar and schedules. Uh, template. Click submit. Oh, it's already in there. Okay, so let's go back to my template gallery, and there it is. So we're going to use this template. So I can remove it if I no longer need it. I can preview it if I just want to see it if I don't know what it is. But since I built it, I know what it is. So I'm going to use this template. And so uh, here it is. Basically, this is our uh, SLO document and uh, SLO and, and EO document that we're using for the fall 17 uh, semester transition. Now, most of the courses are going to be three semester hour versions of that. And uh, what I might want to do is I might want to create a four semester version of it because there are some that are going to have some extended time, might have a lab associated with them or something like that. But we are going to have some. And rather than having to start all the way over, I might want to create some separate versions of. And I can just change that to four. And I can make some other adjustments here. Uh, maybe in some of these courses, they haven't gone through UBD, so they're not going to have any big ideas or anything that we need to deal with here and uh, we're good to go. I, so I now have this, uh, this template and I'm going to be able to go over here and I can do, I can maybe put another four here and change it so I know that that's the four credit version. And I am done. It uh, auto updates. There is no save feature or anything that I have to do and I now have that particular template that's available for me to use in my spot and every time I'm going to do a four um, semester hour course, we're going to go ahead and grab this one. So that's uh, just an example of how you can um, grab your own document, place it in here. Um, I did have an image in that one. I could have actually just taken that image out, the little Baker logo, and I could have had that set for another image. I could have put a little note in there, you know, um, use uh, image as a placeholder. I could put something there and say, you know, insert image here. I could strip out any unwanted text. You saw me doing that. And then I can share the template again by uploading it uh, either in the Baker College templates area or in the public templates area. And that's where uh, in the options here in edit details, I'd have the ability to identify how I'm sharing my templates. So that's it, how to use Google templates to speed up your workflow, and I hope you found some value here. Thank you.